Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we are going to be talking about question 3 of paper 1 2021 past question. Question 3 of paper 1 2021 past questions and the mark attached to it. When I saw the question 3, all that came to my mind is that this class is going to be talking about primary health care in total. We are going to be talking about the definition of primary health care according to the World Health Organization, the objective of primary health care, the component of primary health care, and also the principles of primary health care. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about paper 1, question 3, 2021 past question. And looking at that question closely, everything is all about the primary health care. So I'm going to read the question directly from my phone it says primary health care has been established to bring health care as close as possible to people and to contribute the first element of a continuity of care process in our national health care system a define primary health care according to world health organization a lot of students are scared of this definition because they feel it's very long, it's very lengthy, and it will be difficult for them to really cram and comprehend. Do you know what? I'm going to be breaking it down. I'm going to be simplifying it as, as simple as possible. So let's go. Primary health care is an essential health care. It's what? It's an essential health care. When you say essential, it simply means it's an important health care. Is that what is an important health is, it, is an important health care? So primary health care is an essential health care based on practical. It has to be practical. It has to be obvious, not theoretical. It has to be based on what practical. What you can practicalize. What you can carry out. Based on what? Based on practical, scientifically sound. It is practical, but it has to be what scientifically sound. Scientifically, it has to be correct, not compromised. Based on what practical, scientifically sound, socially acceptable method and technology. For those that play PS2 very well, remember PSS, S, P S cube. It's not PS2 now. It's P S cube. So remember. Practical, remember scientifically sound, you remember socially acceptable. You get now? So, PS2, we go fit well. So, primary health care is an essential health care based on PS, practical S, scientifically sound, and socially acceptable method and technology. So, any primary health care that is not acceptable socially by the people, by the community, is not primary health care. You get? So, let's go right again. Primary health care is, a, is an essential, that's important, is an essential health care, is an essential care based on PS2. Practical, scientifically sound, socially acceptable method and technology made universally available it is what it is made universally available is available to the individual that is me and families in the community it is available to individuals families in the community at a cost the country and community can afford for primary health care to be called primary health care it has to be at a cost the community and the country can afford at every stage of their development. As Nigeria is developing, their primary health care center has to be affordable at every stage. But these days, what do we get? These days, it's not even affordable. At every stage 
of their development and a spirit of self-reliance and self-determination. Do we get? Remember PS2. Let's go. Primary health care is an essential health care based on PS2. Primary health care is an essential health care based on practical, scientifically sound, socially acceptable method and technology. It is made universally acceptable to, who? to the individual and the families in the community at a cost that they can afford at every stage of development and a spirit of self-reliance and self-determination. So that is what the primary health care is simply all about. And that is two marks. So if you can give this basic point, your PS2, your self-reliance, self-determination, at least you'll be able to get one, even if you're not getting the full mark. Then the second question here says, enumerate 10 components of primary health care. When you say component, component is what makes up the primary health care. That is the component. So the first one I won't forget, even in my dreams, is health education. Because when it comes to nursing, health education is of paramount importance. So it is the duty of a community health nurse to help educate the public on their health issues. Yes. So health education is one of the most important components of the primary health care. Then another is promotion of food supply and proper nutrition. It is the, um, the duty of a community health nurse to promote food supply. I know you'll be wondering how can a community health nurse promote food supply? They have to tell these villagers it is good, it is ideal for you guys to plant, for you people to plant um, vegetables around your around your house, small gardens, plant some vegetables, plant some fruits around your house that you can easily beckon on. Because if you look at it, most people in the rural area enjoy a lot of fresh vegetables, fresh fruits compared to people in the urban areas. So they should look more healthy than those in the urban areas. So Take note in your duty as a community health nurse to promote that promotion of food supply and proper nutrition. You have to tell them that oh, don't overcook your cook your vegetables. Always wash your fruits with salt and water. These are the basic things they have to be aware of. Then the other is adequate supply of safe water and basic um, sanitation. Looking at it, you're like, oh, primary health care, supply. Is, is health not talking about injections and drugs? No. You are talking about the community. They have to be involved in things like that. They are drinking dirty water. It is your duty when you are in the primary health care settings to communicate, to advocate for these people so that the government can help with boreholes to provide clean water for these people and help in the dis disposal of excess refuse around to ensure proper sanitation. Then the other is immunization. You will agree with me that most immunizations, immunization generally, are carried out by the primary health care centers. Polo, uh, tuberculosis, all the immun... Let's say that. <laughs> all right, that aside, all immunizations have been carried out in the primary health care centers. And even in the teaching hospital, the specialists, they have a group, they have a center, they have a... They have, uh, should I say, a section in a teaching hospital that they tag the community or the primary health care that is involved in immunization. Then the other is maternal and child health. You will agree with me that when you go to the primary health care centers, especially in Nigeria, most people you see there, most health care workers you see there are majorly the midwives. They are responsible. They are responsible for delivery, safe delivery of the baby and also good health condition of the mother after delivery. So maternal and childhood is an important aspect of what? Of, of what? Of primary health care. Then the other is prevention and control of locally endemic disease. So it is the primary health care duty to actually uh, prevent locally endemic disease. For example, malaria. They have to head education head educate that is why i say head education covers everything because once you know what to do once you don't know what to do you won't be able to do anything so when you head educate the people they know what to do and these locally endemic diseases have been prevented sometimes you see ngos um, doing some partnership contracts with some healthcare centers to provide mosquito nets to the people that will help them prevent uh, mosquitoes generally
Another component of the primary health care is treatment of common disease and injury. Malaria is being treated in the primary health care centers. Small injury, roadside um, uh, road traffic accident has not severe that involves bruise that they have to do minor wound dressing. They are being tackled in the primary health care centers. They are already at this century. They are being tackled in uh, the primary health care centers. So treatment of common disease and injuries are being carried out in the primary health care centers. Then the other is provision of essential drugs. See. Malaria is very common, so there is no way you enter a primary health care center and you will not get uh, a drug for malaria. If that is being found, I think that primary health care center had to be sued as soon as soon as possible because you can't go there and not get uh, the uh, basic antihypertensive drugs. You can't get uh, malaria drugs. You can't get typhoid drugs. You can't get antibiotics. You can't get some antifungal. You can't get some. Uh, um, your metacropomide for vomiting, you can get some infusion. Those are the basic and essential drugs that should be what? That should be present in the primary health care center. Then also dental health care, aura, teeth. Whenever you get dental, what comes to your mind should be teeth, your mouth. So dental health care is also being provided in the primary health care centers. Referral services. Normally the first line of care is usually the primary health care center from the question. So, from the primary health care center, you are referred to the secondary, from the secondary to the tertiary. So, the primary health care centers do a lot of referral when the situation is beyond their control. The care of the age, you know the age people are in the community. So, it is, um, care of the age is a component, it's been inculcated into the primary health care center. Community mental health. I think the community health nurse will be in the best position to locate any community member that is running mental before they finally finally refer to psychiatry. <laughs> All right, then the other is promotion of school health services. Promotion of what school health services. So that is also a component of the primary health care. Then let's go to the third question which says um, state five objective of the primary health care center. Okay, maybe one do what is objective. Remember in care plan, when we talk about objective, objective is like what we ought to do. You get what we want to see for the betterment of the, of the patient. Now it's what we want to do for the, what is the objective of the primary health care? What is the primary health care trying to improve? What are they trying to get? What are their goals? That is what the objective of primary health care is all about. Then the first one I have here is to reduce infant mortality rates. I'm, I'm going to be picking the simple, simple ones that is easy to comprehend. So the first one I'm going to be picking is reduce infant mortality rates. When there's a primary health care close to the house, it's reduced infant mortality rates. It also reduces this uh, maternal, uh, what do they call it now? This child uh, pregnancy, death in pregnancy, or any complications in pregnancy, it goes a long way to reduce that. I've forgotten the main name for it. Don't mind me. Okay. Reduce infant mortality rates. Raise life expectancy of the population. It was, it's raise life expectancy of the population. Achieve and maintain acceptable standard of care. I hope you are writing. Provide essential care for the population. Bring health care services closer to the people. I think that objective should be easy to remember. Bring health care services closer to the people. Provide essential care for the population. I've said that. Another objective is to provide reasonable and timely access to the primary health care service. You have, is to provide what? Reasonable and timely access. Because... If there is no primary health care centers in the various local governments, in the various community, getting access to health care will not be timely and health care will not be what accessible. So, that's that. Develop community satisfaction with the primary health care system. Develop community satisfaction with the primary health care system. Increase stakeholders' participation. NGOs can come, different organizations can come to help improve the community life. So, primary health care 
actually what increase stakeholders participation because they are closer to the community um it also integrates health into other sectors if you look properly we're not just talking about oh health 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 we're also diverting into um the farm the water they drink the food they eat what they take in it's inculcates and even the road they pass through to their farms you get even the water supply all of them are being it integrates um health into the other sectors of the of the nation generally then also organize health services around people's need and expectation when a commit let me explain this particular one organize health care services around people's need and expectation when a community is suffering from cholera you don't have to start thinking about malaria when a community is su suffering from covid you don't have to start thinking about cholera you get so you have to organize care according to the needs of that people that is why it says organize health services around people's need and expectation and also increase the program and services that affect the healthy growth and development of children and youth so those are the objective those are some of the objective of the primary health care so the other question says we should talk about the principles of primary health care do you know what i noticed during my classes i found that most students mistake the principles for the components i have principles guiding me right i have principles that is it's different entirely from what makes me up so my principles is what that's what guides me why a component is what i'm made up of please take notes of the different so we've talked about components so i'm going to be listing the the principles for us the first one is we have this acute equitable distribution of resources now for so ever resources that is coming to the primary health care it has to be distributed equally neglecting gender neglecting age neglecting um, religion neglecting, uh, neglecting cultural background this health care has to be distributed equally the resources available has to be distributed equally that is why the first principle of primary health care is what equitable distribution of resources then the other one is um community participation remember i told you if community is not participating is not primary health care for this to be called a primary health care the community has to participate actively not shabbily they have to participate actively in the care then the other one is intersectorial collaboration like i earlier said it is not just about the health it is not just about infusions and medication it is about collaborating health with the food they eat with the various sectors the engineering sectors the food supply sectors the um the architectural sector to help them design their house so that they will not be beating them it involves other sectors not just the health sector you get that is why it is health care you are in the people you are finding their challenges you are tackling them not just the malaria they are suffering you can also go emotional find out their emotional problem the community problem um, the challenges they are facing how they are going to tackle it so it's intersectorial and then appropriate use of technology appropriate use of technology using medical technologies that are simple scientifically sound adaptable to the local need and acceptable to those who apply it and for those who use it so whatever technology might be bringing to the community hey i think the king should be aware so the king will also say you are killing the people so this technology this method they have to be acceptable by them then self-reliance it entails the use of what is available in terms of human financial material and other resources if you notice the principles are from this definition who gave they are what from the definition who's gave you know when i say self-reliance it means we are relying on what we have to provide health care we are relying on our resources the human resources the material resources the um, um intellectual resources and otherwise we are relying on us to provide health that's why they say self-reliance so one of the principles of what of um community health is what self-reliance then the other is provision of quality um quality basic essential care social mobilization provision of what 
quality, basic, essential care. Remember we said primary health care center is an essential health care. Social mobilization. Does this involve sensitizing the people? It's like health education. You are mobilizing the people. You are telling the people what to do. You are sensitizing them about what is going on. Then also, the other ones we have is affordability and accessibility. These people should be able to afford the health care and these people should be able to access the health care. If you look at these principles, they are all derived from the one health definition of who. So if you, as a student, can define um, primary health care according to the World Health Organization definitely you should be able to thief, take principles from that definition with ease and without stress do we get hope this video help you understand what primary health care entails and hope it help you understand what this question is all about let me tell you the marks attached to it I think I should tell you I'm coming Oh, this is my phone. I'm turning my phone upside down. <laughs> All right. In terms of um, the principles, it's um, half mark for each of any correctly stated principle. So you are expected to list six. I told you whenever you see six marks attached to a point, whenever you see three marks attached to a point, you list six. You get why for the objective it was five points, five marks. You know, objective is summa conc. You understand? So it's one mark for each. The objective is one mark for each objective you give. Then the component is half mark each. So when you give 10, you get 5 marks. Then the definition is 2 marks each. It's 2 marks, not each. It's just one definition. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching our video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. See you in our next video. And we are going to be talking about paper. We're going to be talking about paper 2, May 2021, past question. Bye.